old or young the Earth is. The lack of uranium in the oceans tells us that the oceans cannot be even 10,000 years old. Well, that is perfectly consistent with the Bible. You really can trust the Bible about the Earth only being 6,000 years old. Revelation Television is committed to making a wide range of Christian television programs. From studies to documentaries, from debates to music programs, from testimonies to talk shows. All are made possible because of your support for Revelation Foundation. Thank you for making it possible. Hello, welcome everyone to The Healing Word. My name is Cyril Smith, and uh, with me this evening, as always, Breda, my wife. Amen? And uh, I say that very convincingly. Happy to be here, Breda. We're a very blessed uh, couple. We share the Word, we discuss the Word, and then uh, we read your emails. Uh, you are in contact with us, Cyril and Breda, at uh, revelationtv.com. And Breda has some emails that we will look at later tonight and they represent uh, others. You may not be your own name, but that doesn't matter because you can identify with the uh, symptoms and then say, well, Lord, you're speaking to me and I'm going to claim my healing. This program is called The Healing Word and um, because that's what the Lord's Word does. It heals his people. He exalts above all things his name and his word. And he looks out for his word to perform it. You see, it, it, there's so much to do with his word. In the beginning was the word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, and the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So tonight our theme, Breda, is expectation. Because the Word, we just don't, um, it reminds us and he warns us in James and also in 2 Corinthians that the Lord, it's, His kingdom is just not about Word. It's about power, and it's about faith. Hmm? And therefore Sorry. it's important that we approach Whenever we share our word, that we're in the right frame of mind, that we're in expectation of his word being answered. That's right. Really? And it's all by grace. It's not by oh, our hard. works. Yes. It's not by, oh, I think I'm a very good Christian, so God's going to do it for me. It has nothing to do with us at all, because that all went. When the law went, our... Um, about doing it. Meeting the, 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 the requirement went. It's by grace. So therefore, when it's not by us um, meeting the requirements, all the glory and all the gratitude goes to God. True, yeah. And we realize that we, we owe him everything. And we don't try to think, oh, well, I mean, I prayed all last week, and I went to so many meetings, and I was very kind to the woman up the road. We start taking, we start sort of thinking, we're measuring it out, we, yeah. we deserve it. None of us deserves it. We don't deserve anything. But God, mm -hmm. who is a merciful God, has decided to mm -hmm. give it to us anyway. Those who believe in Jesus and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and who get filled with the Holy Spirit, we give our life to you, Lord Jesus. You please fill me with the Holy Spirit, then the reward is that God's grace is on us. Amen. And yeah. Brita, there's huge freedom in that. Yes. You know, you can pray and in the right frame of mind and in the right word and know the word and sow the seed and uh, expect the Lord to fulfill his promises. Do you know? That's right. But there's no responsibility on us. We're, we're wonderfully free in that, knowing that it's by grace, knowing that it's him. But it's important also, as the Lord says, in his word, Breda, we need to know his word uh, because his word will lead, a, lead us to 
him and to a greater understanding of him because he is his word. How do you get to know somebody? By reading, by knowing, by listening to them and so mm -hmm. on. So I'd like to start tonight, Brita, with Psalm 5, verse 1 to 3. And it's, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sighing. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait in expectation. Yes. It's all to do with attitude and in expectation. The Lord knows because his spirit is in there. And if we're going, oh, well, diddly, 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 don't we run these words out. We do it all the time, mm -hmm. day in and day out. It's so easy to drop into that role of thinking. But to be aware and to be waiting in expectation, Brita, is where he can move in That's right. the power of his word yeah. because your frame of mind is right. Do you know? That's right. And David, who wrote that, he believed when he called out to the Lord that the Lord heard him. And we're told in the New Testament that all of this was written down to help us so that we will know that when we call out to the Lord, he hears us. And uh, years ago, we didn't know this. It's by reading the word and by learning about God that we realize that it's not a matter of pleading mm -hmm. with God. Isn't that mm -hmm. right, Sarah? That's true. That's true. It's a matter of realizing that whatever God did for David, he listened to his cry, that he will also listen to our cry. And we can be sure of that. Yes? Amen. Amen. And one of the great, I want to draw to your attention tonight because it's important, and I do know that some of you do uh, write down the scriptures and sow them into your life and so on, as we do. So I would like to look to Luke 5 17. Now, this is a great uh, expectant miracle, mm. right? Yes. This is the paralytic uh, chap. And there he was. And the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. The Lord felt the power of the Father in him to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralytic on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up onto the roof and lowered him on his mat. Now, if they were not in expectation, would you go to all that bother? No. Do you know? Uh, in fact, you could have easily come and said, well, now, if he had meant us to be there, uh, you know, he would have made a way. We would have been there earlier. There's so many people here. Uh, maybe not another time. Maybe not a bit of it. They were in expectation mm. of him being healed. And they got up onto that roof and they removed sections of the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. That is expectation. That's that is it. That's right. Miracle. And when Jesus saw their faith, you link faith with expectation, he said, friends, your sins are forgiven. And then, of course, some of them are surprised at that. But the Lord then later on down in the scripture, he said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. But he had already said, your faith has healed mm -hmm. him. Immediately, he stood up in front of them, took what he had been lying on and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, we have seen remarkable things today. But it was their expectation, Rita, you know? That's right. I mean, they probably heard about Jesus maybe Coming. in another yeah. village. And uh, people were coming and saying, oh, her mother-in-law was blind and now she can see. And they were telling them all about this person, Jesus. So they believed what they were hearing. And then they got up, put the man on the stretcher and carried him to where Jesus was. Mm. So they heard about Jesus first. Then they believed what they heard and they went and it says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God mm -hmm. so they heard right we mm -hmm. hear today when we read the word of God today we're hearing God speaking I thought I was saying this to Cyril today we used to sit listening for God to speak listening listening 
listening. People used to say to me, God said this and God said that, and I'm like, why is he not speaking to me? I can't hear him. When you read the word of God and you speak that word out, God is speaking. And if mm -hmm. you obey or if you, if you act upon what God has said in the word, then you're hearing him and you're believing him. So when we act upon the word of God, it means we're believing it. You know if you have a child and you tell them, don't touch that, and then they touch it and you think, did you hear me? Mm -hmm. They heard you, but they didn't obey. And sometimes they didn't hear you because they weren't listening. Well, the real but yes. when we read the word of God, that was important for me to know that when we read the word of God and when we speak, you know, read it out loud and we hear it, that's God speaking to us. And when we act on that, that's us. That's our faith. We yes. believe what we, we've mm -hmm. read mm -hmm. and now we're acting upon it. So that's faith. And the, yeah. the, the, the paralytic, it really is a, a wonderful miracle of, of expectation. Yeah. And it was caught by Seamus Heaney, a lovely um, Irish poet. And he had a very small poem, and he called it The Miracle. And everybody's focusing on the guy getting laid down and him getting healed and Jesus healing him. I mean, mm -hmm. absolutely remarkable. But, the, but um, Seamus Heaney had picked up on the fact of the loyalty of these guys, their friendship, Rita. Yes, they just of didn't, course. There wasn't some guy who would bring him along. Uh, they obviously loved him, so their spirit was in the right frame of mind. Yes. And they were expecting, and they were so expectant that they were up onto a roof. And he mm -hmm. captures it beautifully. It's called a little, little poem I just recited to you by Seamus Heaney. Not the one who takes up his bed and walks but the ones who have known him all along and carry him in their shoulders numb, the ache and stoop deep locked in their backs, the stretcher handles slippery with sweat and no let up until he's strapped on tight, made tiltable and raised to the tiled roof, then lowered for healing. Be mindful of them as they stood and wait with the burn of the paid out ropes in their hands to cool their slight lightheadedness and incredulity to pass those who had known him all along. They were friends. Mm. They were saying, well, now these, this is a guy, and we're going to bring him to this guy, and we are going to... Uh, They'd we, heard about heard Jesus. For him, heard about Jesus, loved him enough, and then when they got there, oh, oh we'll have to strap him in, get him all tight, get That's him up right. onto the roof, get him down through the roof, and then they're standing with their job done. And Jesus and said, expectation breeder. Yep. the so. last thing that Jesus said was, their faith has, has healed, healed you. So Jesus was aware that these four were up on the roof and uh, taking the slates off to put them down or whatever the roof was made of. But, um, and he acknowledged that. And you know, James acknowledges that. In James 5, verse 16, it says, pray for one another so that you yourselves may be healed. Mm, you, mm, you know, we mm. used to talk about that, that mm -hmm. we, when, it's like the, the sowing and the reaping, isn't it? Jesus says, give and it will be given unto you. So when we pray for others to be healed, then the word tells us that we ourselves will be healed. So yes. again, it's the sowing and the reaping. And then when we pray in expectation, so we sow the seed of the Lord's word into our circumstances, whatever they may be. Amen. And later in the program, the reader will recite some of the, uh, touch on some of the emails that we get. Don't forget to be in touch with us, Cyril and Brida, at the bottom of the screen there, at revelationtv.com. And uh, regardless even of, of uh, you know, whether we have the, we do pray, and regardless of the time, in between sometimes we have to pray whilst you're going in for an operation and you don't hear yourself been mentioned on screen, we have still prayed for you. We pray for everyone that emails into the program. Mm -hmm. So can I read it just as we, before we go to a music break, well, one of the most important areas is Isaiah 55. Yes. And it says here, as in, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. The Lord wants us to bring us into that place of expectation mm -hmm. beyond our understanding. He tells us in Proverbs 3, verse 5, trust in me with all your heart, Lean not on your own understanding. 
your understanding will only lead you to your reasoning kicks in and then goes, oh, well, you know, you know there's only about 4% of people uh, re are, uh, you know, get healed in the operation and so on. The, the Lord isn't into a lottery. The Lord is into healing his people utterly and totally intolerant of illness. That, that's the Lord's walk on this earth. And he says in Isaiah 55, verse 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, mm -hmm. neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. I mean, how distant can that yes. be, Brita? And my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire. He uses our mouths, our tongue, our lungs, our air to bring his word to pass on this earth. And as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, sometimes the rain, the rain will go straight into the earth very, very quickly and it's absorbed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll see snow sitting on a bank and it'll take a while before it sinks in, you know? Mm. So it's all to do with time. That would nearly be at. like meditation, yes, wouldn't it? that's right, it takes time. Yeah. And you will go out in joy. This is, uh, and achieve the purpose, because the Lord's desire is for us to be in joy. You will be out in joy, be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills will burst into song before you. Our thoughts are not your thoughts. The Lord made the mountains, he made the trees, he made people joyful. He can have trees clap their branches if he wants, do you know? It's beyond our understanding. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Amen. So it's wonderful as to be an expectation breeder. Yes. Amen. All heaven declares the glory of the risen Lord. Beautiful song. Join us in a few minutes. Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. Be blessed. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Isaiah 55, 11. Rita. Yes. Hmm. So in other words, God's word will accomplish what he sent it out to do. So God sends forth his word so when we declare when we say what God says about healing we know God has said that he will not return to him empty so when we declare healing scriptures by the stripes of Jesus I am healed mm -hmm. and we know that's written in the word we know that it says surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows so that's the word of God and when we declare what God says we're not saying what we say we're saying what he says mm -hmm. and the power we're told is in his word and you know I was reading this scripture today and it made me think it says grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and our Lord Jesus Christ through the knowledge if we don't have any knowledge of God, if we don't read the word of God and know that God has made us promises, then we, we don't know how to pray. If we don't know that God says his word will not return to him void or empty, but will accomplish what it says, then we don't even know to have faith in that. So basically, it's important for us to be able to have expectation to know the promises to know what Jesus did on the cross for us mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. he died mm -hmm. that he he took all of the curse on himself sickness was the curse he took that on himself all of those things he took on the cross and so for us to receive our healing the faith our faith in what Jesus did and what God says in his word gives us that expectation Amen. Right. Amen. Be done. It's true. Um, and I love you can come across all these places of expectation. And it's so, so important to have the mindset because you can, uh, you, you know, you can have symptoms for quite, quite some time yeah. and grow into using, you know, being, being sort of having yeah. it there in your life. Yes. And other people look at you and uh, take it for granted that that's who you are and that's where the way you are and so on. And um, there's no real basic expectation of change. Do you know what yeah. I mean, Brita? But I love when it's, for instance, in Psalm 20, may the Lord answer you when you're in distress. So you call out to the Lord. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. We will shout for joy when you are victorious. When? You know, that's how I love it. You know, yes, the Lord not if. will join in. And I mean, it's such an uplifting, you know, it's wonderful sometimes when we pray and we prayed and there's an email from someone and, and they're concerned and uh, you know it's a, it's a real and the next thing is they go into a doctor or, and the symptoms are gone the aneurysm's gone there's no yes for an that's right and we will shout for joy when you are victorious you know I'm not waiting to see are you yeah. oh you didn't or oh, it didn't happen for you do you know the Lord deals in miracles and healings Breda that's right Amen. and I'll just tell you a very quick um, mm -hmm. little testimony I asked people to pray for my daughter-in-law Lena's mother Nina she was having her thyroid removed she lives in the Ukraine 
Anyway, she had that operation and then they put her on this particular treatment and this treatment was going to make her have swollen um, glands mm -hmm. and all sorts. There was a list of things that she could expect. And so people were praying, people from Revelation were praying and we were praying, Lena was praying, everybody was praying and she had no symptoms at all. Mm -hmm. So she thought it mustn't have worked. So she went back to them, they were to do the, the test and they said, oh, no, no, she said, I had no symptoms. Did it not work? Did it not take? They said, no, no, it worked perfect. Everything's perfect. But the prayer, she, had, she experienced no symptoms. So we give the Lord thanks and praise for answering the prayer for Nina. And yes. she's absolutely wonderful. And there's a few other questions really yes. to speak. Yes, now, very, very, very briefly, quickly, very have we how many minutes? Very. Oh, right. I want to call out some names. Maybe somebody would pray for Catherine, who asked for prayer for her nephew, Paul, for a job. And so, Father, we pray for Paul. We know that no good thing do you withhold. Your word tells us that. And we know that a job would be a good thing for Paul. So we pray for that. And Catherine wants to go deeper with God. So we'll pray at the end a prayer for, ever, for all of us. Rosaline wants a copy of the song of, by Michael Smith, Grace. Rosaline, we got it on YouTube. And so you can go on YouTube and put in Grace by Michael Smith. And also, we thank you. She wants to make a decision to um, support Revelation Television financially. So, Rosaline, that's great. Uh, Myra, lovely to hear from you. Myra was enjoying the program so much that she went into another room to hear it better and the dog ate her half of her breakfast so I did laugh I know it's not funny Myra but uh, I thought of the scripture did you think of it man does not live on bread alone mm -hmm. so I thought well maybe she thought of that um, Glynis thank you for your email glad to hear you enjoy the program so Glynis mm -hmm. sent us um, an email Christine That's says she you, uses Jesus. the scripture to defeat depression. The Psalms 120 to 120... 134. To 134. The Psalms of the sense. Yes. That's, Cyril was going to make those on a video or on a, a cassette. He had said he would do that, so hopefully he will get around to doing that. When, the, when Howard has the time and... That's we right. Can combine it, when Howard has the but time. That's the, um, Angela uh, is Rita. declaring Psalm 118, verse 17 I will not die but live. We come into agreement with you, Angela, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Be blessed until we see you at the same time next week. It's good night from Brita and myself. Bye bye. Bye bye. The program you've been watching was made possible because of your support for the Revelation Foundation. Programs take time, effort and money. If you'd like to make similar programs possible, then please send your gift to the Revelation Foundation. The details are on the screen. All of us at Revelation TV want to thank you for viewing this important message and to welcome you to explore further all of our programming. There are so many ways of watching Revelation TV. By Sky, Freesat, Freeview HD, the Roku Box, and of course through the Internet. If you would like further information on Revelation TV, please contact our office on info at revelationtv.com or by writing or ringing the address and telephone number on the screen. With God's blessing and your support, we're believing for Revelation TV to reach an ever-growing...